what we do is important to make sure that no one is wrongfully convicted in our county. Hundreds of criminal cases are being examined and reviewed to make sure prosecutors got them right. It's all a part of the San Diego County District Attorney's Conviction Review Unit. It's been around for about two and a half years, but there are now visible results of its work. Convicted murderer Donnell Fulcher was offered a new trial because of the unit and changes in the way experts analyze DNA. September 2006, a murder on Newton Avenue in Barrio Logan. Several months later, police arrested Donnell Fulcher. They connected him to the scene in part through DNA evidence found on this glove, according to court records. Knute Johnson represented Fulcher. We argued that he was not involved in all. There was also, in my view, evidence of some other people who were very likely candidates for people who might have committed this crime. But because of changes in the way DNA is now analyzed, Fulcher got what most defendants will never see a chance at a new trial. So this changes the game. This changes the game and, you know, credit to the district attorney's office for that. The prosecutor's role is to ensure justice before, during, and after trial. And so this unit is just another way we can fulfill that mission. Deputy District Attorney Bryn Curvin leads the conviction review unit. Part of their efforts went into looking at all cases where there could be DNA mixtures, meaning more than one DNA profile in a sample. That's because guidelines by the top forensic science group changed the way they interpreted DNA. They decided, you know what, we want to take a more conservative, a more cautious view when analyzing low-level mixtures. According to the DA's office, approximately 1,525 defendants were tried between 2003 to 2016 for serious or violent crimes. Most did not involve DNA, but in 351 cases, DNA was used at trial. Of those, 254 defendants' cases involved mixtures. That included Donnell Fulcher. Team 10 was the only camera in the courtroom when he chose to plead guilty to voluntary manslaughter and assault with a firearm. A judge sentenced him to 14 years, but he received credit for time already served. Anything about the case that gives us doubt that we lose our confidence in the conviction, we shouldn't be afraid to act. We should be running to the courthouse to act. Is all of this work worth it to you? Yes. It doesn't matter how old the case is, we're going to be willing to go back and look and make sure that we got it right. In Fulcher's case, the prosecutor believes they got the right man. Fulcher was released on Wednesday. Now, anyone can apply to get a conviction reviewed, an application right here on the DA's website. But there are guidelines. The conviction must have happened in our local superior court, and that person still needs to be in custody. They are also only looking at violent or serious felonies, and there must be some credible evidence of innocence. Mary? Mm, really interesting. All right, Mel, thank you. Hey,